What's up everyone, it's Cake out here and welcome back to Season 1 of NASCAR Dirt Task Force Career Mode on the PlayStation 2. We're about to do race 536, the Carolina Dodge US 100. So let's get into it. Um, the last race uh, could have gone a lot smoother, but I was stupid and made mistakes. So yeah, we're stuck with the, what we got right now, but uh, let's just get it right into qualifying. Alright, that, that first slap was, eh, whatever, and 35th, alright, that's not, that's not bad, I can work with that. I'm gonna, the ratio I'm gonna lower that just a little bit, and then up the third gear just a little bit, alright. Let's get this race at Darlington underway. This is Joe Moore, along with Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live at Darlington Raceway, the granddaddy of super speedways, in Darlington, South Carolina, for the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. Every driver who comes here has one goal in mind. Don't add any paint to the wall. What makes Darlington so tough? Well, this is an egg-shaped track with different links and different bankings in the east and west turns. That makes it very tough for the drivers. But the question is, why is it egg-shaped? Well, when it was built, the landowner decided he didn't want his minnow farm disturbed so they simply pinched in the corners of what is now turns three and four to give it the distinctive egg shape that it's now famous for johnny benson won the bush series championship in 1995 that championship was sandwiched between two rookie of the year awards he won the bush series award in 1994 followed up his championship with winston cup rookie honors in 96 the 83 car looks to turn his luck around in this race. He definitely needs a good finish, not just for himself, but for the team, the sponsors, and everyone else involved with that team. Chase Montgomery hasn't run well in his qualifying attempts at the speedways this year. Man, does this make getting a win tough. He has to be careful not to beat up the car, as aerodynamics have become so important at these speedway tracks. And that's not easy to do when you have the whole field starting in front of you.
from row 19 are the GM Goodrent Chevrolet and the Pennzoil Chevrolet. The 20th row has the Civil Air Patrol Chevrolet and the Kellogg Chevrolet. Starting the race from row 21 will be the UPS Ford and the BAM Racing Dodge. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the Georgia Pacific Dodge. Pirate can about to blow their way through the field. Let's go. And make sure that I didn't run into back of uh, uh, Steve Park up there. Or, wait, is it Steve Park or Jeff Green? Hold on. Oh god! Outside line uh, checked up quite a bit, and the inside line I actually had a bit of a scare with that as well. So three wide, and goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, I think the gear ratio adjustments are really helping a little bit now. That's uh, that's a good thing. Next, I think I went to. I think I could have gone a little further up on the on the uh, gear ratio. I could have kept it where it was and been fine, but maybe I'll remember that for next time. If my car is better though, but, so we'll see. Oh my goodness, uh, Kansas blowing his way through, Bulldo or bull bulldozing his way through is what I meant to say. <clears throat> At least he's trying to, he's stuck behind these boxed in between two cabins, uh, three cabins actually, LePage, me, and Harvick. <laughs> it's funny. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize that, oh, I didn't realize that three cabins were, the three cabins that are in this race were we're boxed in the Kenza in the 17. <laughs> That's hilarious. He got boxed in by a trio of Kevins. That's funny. Sorry, Harvick. Oh, wow. That's my story. Great. Alright. Uh, Harvick's pretty much got nowhere to go unless I let him go here in one. I can't let... I'm not going to give him turn... I'm not going to give here, though. So, he's got to... <coughs> he's got to find another way to work, it, work it, his way around me. And LePage, and her. Oh my goodness, this car is so damn slow now because I've lowered the gear show a little bit, and that is really affecting top speed of this thing. I should have kept where it was. I thought I thought I was gonna go a little higher. And I thought the RPM was gonna go a little higher, and that I was very wrong about that. Um, yeah, I moved up like four spots at the start, and now I'm dropping back now. Oh, hi, Jeff Green, rival. I should, like, start the rivalry again, to be honest, but... Oh, it's actually gone. The rivalry icon's gone from Jeff Green. Never mind. <laughs> soon, as I, soon as I say that, I run into him and get my, my, another minus 10 on him. I can't... I can't do this. Oh, my gosh. I went, I went straight down the apron. I went straight down the apron just because I need the car to turn a little better, and it's not turning. Does not want to turn. I hate it. Uh, this, is, this is probably what I deserve for destroying the car at Atlanta. I still want to finish outside top 40 again. I've had, I've had enough of finishing outside top 40. <clears throat> and the way this race is going, I don't think I'd be able to pass anyone. I think I have to pit early and then try to hold them off. <clears throat> so whenever you know, I think I might be able to make it on fuel. So I'll see how, so I'll try to remember when half went field was. Jared's still back here? What? I thought he was past us already. He made he's made no he's made pretty much no progress. That is ridiculous. I guess that's what happens when you start in the second to last row. And uh, freaking Steve Park make er, yeah, Steve Park made it three wide. This car just doesn't... I've actually lost a spot now since the start. Gear ratio is not working. Oh, in the wall. Whew. Just about came down in front of Jack's... It, in the Jack's break. That was very close. Yeah, it's Jack's break. <coughs> Alrighty. Gotta really dive in deep in one there. Just to try to stay ahead of Tim Schrader. Ah, Sprague and I are about even uh, down the back there. I need, I, 
I need to like lower the tire pressure or something because this is not working. Oh no, I can't. The tires are already worn out. The front, the fronts are worn out already, so I can't do that actually. Make it a lot worse for me if I do. Loosen up the car, maybe? I don't know. I think it's already loose enough as it is coming off the coming off too, at least. Like you can see, like I just a little bit of a skid off of two there. Just because I need to... Ah! Darn! Ah, back and forth is great. Alright. This is this race has gone from good to bad. Uh, just because I'm struggling with the car. With the way the condition it's in. Oh my goodness! This car! Turn! I let... I've... Uh, I've gone from like 31st or whatever from at the start to like... 41st now, so... Oh my goodness, turn- no! Hang on. Thank god, alright. What the f***? right there. Probably should've just let it spin out, but I didn't want to. Oh. That's not a good way to make friends out there. Shut up, Ash- I can't- I had nothing- I couldn't do anything with Ashton Lewis there. He just trying to get by me and I was running up into him, okay? I- I couldn't- I was not gonna let off. Trying to make the corner. This car does not like to turn anymore. I hate it. I gotta lo really loosen it up or something. This is ridiculous. It's way too tight. Yes, I didn't realize how much fuel was in the tank. Okay, so I know, uh... Okay, so it's about 15, 16 laps. I have to skate a couple more. Skate is shut up. I can't do this right now. I'm in la I actually realize I'm in last now because they both passed me. 36 car drive, the race will go the straightaway. Look at him! Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Tires are very worn and everything. It's just ridiculous. I need to loosen this car up. It's just not. Oh, there, well, now I won't be last in this race because my screen just blew up. Nice. Thank you. Is he going to make it to pit road this time? Nope. He's got to make it all the way back around. How the hell is he running faster than me with a smoking engine all the way on the apron? How does that even work, EA? Jeez. He's about to run over somebody. He about did right there. Jeez. Ooh. Okay, I'm definitely paying this time just because I need to get fresh tires and everything. I'm going to finish lockdown anyway, so I might as well. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Here I come. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Pretty good. I know he's had the legs down half turn already, and here's Dale Jr. slowing up. Alright, fine. And it looks like Jeff Burton as well. Great. Alright. Can this stop be any slower? Holy crap. That was like six tenths slower than the estimated time, and I'm already a lap down. Awesome. I think I'm pretty sure the leaders up there haven't pitted yet, though. So I hope that's the case, because I can't see how they pulled away that much. Yeah, the leaders coming in now. Thank God. All right. Oh, this car feels a little bit better right now. Thank God. I need to. See, the only things I'm actually going to adjust on this stuff is the tire pressure, the wedge, and then the gear ratios. Especially the gear ratios, I need to make sure the gear ratio is as perfect as possible. I probably will just like cut this out and skip to whenever we might finish this race or something, because I'm by myself right now and this is boring. So I think I'm just going to go in try hard mode. Alright, well, we're a lap down now, and, and who, 
Who I guess Stewart would be leading again. He's about to win his fourth race in the season. We've only, and it's only the fifth race. Goodness gracious me. Who does this? Like, this is ridiculous. I can't even do that. I can't... I, I can't even win four races. Four... Actually, no, I didn't. PS2, that's the easiest game EA ever made for NASCAR. Hey, jeez. The slow pit stop combined with the fact that Junior and Burton slowed me up while I was getting my pit box. That's really the sign factor here. Goodness gracious, Jeff Burton is second, the only one that can challenge Stewart. And I think Stewart actually has fresher tires, so. Damn it, stop hitting the damn wall. Right, go by me already, damn it. <coughs> oh, it's Junior. Okay, hi. <coughs> Can't really do anything with Junior. Hopefully, he doesn't hit me or anything. I think he's minus 40, so I think I'll be fine. Oh, I still have to run six more laps on these tires. Oh, wow, all the way down the apron. I'm only going down the apron just in case uh, it gets me a little quicker. I thought they would. Wait, so who's in front of who? Looks like Billy, then Junior, then Lavani, and Newman. Okay. <coughs> They're all bunched up in a line, third through seventh. That's ridiculous. I can't even figure out how far behind I am behind who was Ashton Lewis, the 46. I couldn't tell I couldn't tell from the leaderboard quick enough, so I think that was Ashton Lewis. You're going for third on the or fourth, sorry, it was fourth through seven, sorry. That was fourth through seventh in the line. Junior passing to Elliot and so is Le Bobby Levani. Then we can't quite follow them suit. And yeah. Alright, let's just uh Probably do another, uh... Probably go back to try hard mode and skip edit this part out. Damn it! I can't believe I did that. I'm just trying to get around the corner even though I'm not racing anyone. I might as well just hit and stop racing because I can't catch anyone anyway. <clears throat> God. This car sucks. And I suck at this right now. It didn't feel like too long ago I was pacing the field at this track too, so that's that, that's just that's this is embarrassing. I wish I knew how far behind I was Ashton Lewis, but I can't, so oh well. Ashton Lewis, yeah, there you go. There you go, Kevin. I actually pronounced it correctly. <coughs> and with emphasis. That's good lap by Ward Burden, Rusty Wallace, and Jeff Gordon. And I just can't gift wrap the Ward Burden 8th place right there because I'm holding up Rusty Wallace. And the ran into him. Alright, 40 seconds, cool. That is the definition of nothing went right today. Seriously. Tony Stewart won again. Awesome. A single caution lap was run in the whole race. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing, no major wrecks. The 83 car would like to have finished a lot better, I'm sure. He stayed in the fight all race long. Things just never quite went his way. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast of NASCAR Winston Cup Racing on MRN, the voice of NASCAR. That, that sucked. That just sucked. I already got a thumbnail, so I don't need to look at the rest of these. Uh... So they got all the sponsor objectives, so that's good. Stuart led all five laps. Human led three of them, and who and Sarah led, uh, not Sather Waltrip, the pole star led two. So like after Waltrip led a couple laps, uh, Stuart led the rest up until pit stops, and Newman stayed out and then led some laps, and then Stuart led the rest of them. All right. Uh, where did Jeff Green finish? Thirty-first. Uh, He's still technically a rival, but at least the rivalry icon is gone now, thanks to this race. Um, yeah. That sucked. Let's get out of here. Next race is Bristol. I'm not looking forward to it. But uh, anyway, let's uh, go to the garage and see what we can do here with what we got here. Uh, can we overhaul? Ah, it's still too much to overhaul. Damn. Fine. Repair. Just repair. I wish we could overhaul, but I can't. It's too expensive to overhaul any of this stuff. Yeah, all, all the stuff at once. Oh, one race now. Cool. 
one. It takes one race to throw out stuff now. Thank God. I, I need to. I need that. All right. Uh, we have a hurricane in the bank. Great. Um, what's the team look like right now? It takes like in this. Six, four, ten, fifteen, twenty-two, twenty-six, <clears throat> thirty-two, thirty-six. Oh goodness. <clears throat> Thirty-six plus six, fifty-two, sixty-one, seventy-five. It does take eighty-four thousand to keep the to keep Team Payton happy. Goodness, I hate that stinks. I'm not even. I, I'm barely meeting expectations for for some of these. So many sponsors, I think. So, do I still have all the sponsors? That's what. Hold on, I want to see if I have all the sponsors still. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so I still got a few races to go with that. Uh, point standing, Stuart still obviously leader. Look at this. Look at this. He's won Daytona. He's won Rockingham. He's won Las Vegas. And then Darlington. And Darlington. That's four out of five races already. This is ridiculous. Stuart has had a career season already, and only five races in. Thank goodness. And where are we in standings? 38th. Alright, we're nowhere near, uh, in contention for Rookie of the Year. McMurray is way ahead of us. He is, like, almost 200 points ahead of us already, so it's gonna take at least two races to even catch up to me if he DNFs. Let me see this. <laughs> Stuart already has more wins in this season than he has in AR season. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe that. Actually no, he, actually no, 2000 you know, he had 6, so he's, pro he's probably going to end up with like 20 wins by the end of the season, that's ridiculous. Alright, I'll see you guys at Bristol and whatever, we'll just have some fun, we'll try to have some fun there at the world's fastest half mile and the last year Coliseum, see you guys there.